Hello there. It's showtime. What is this, trick or treat? Did I do that? I'm Sailor Moon, the champion of justice. Daddy would have gotten us Uzis. The power is yours. <laughs> My name is Grace Jones. Thunder! 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 Thundercats! Power 3 will set us free. Power 3 will set us free. Power 3 will set us free. No more room in hell. The dead will walk here. I just hit key points. There's a part where Mala, Princess Leia, and Mala talk. And it's Princess Carrie Leia, Fisher if you notice, Carrie Fisher Hulk. looks like she's about to fall. If you watch it, she's 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 kind of trying to gracefully go around a console, like some kind of like like she must be in a ship or something. She looks she's like she's about C3PO. to fall. Mala, it's so good to see you. Happy life day. Glassy yeah. eyes. I mentioned that they have like cameos sprinkled in. So you see C3PO standing and Princess Leia sitting at this desk. We Get another let's just do it david we get another she Cameo. calls luke skywalker who's working on a ship who has more makeup on than than a theatrical i i, I don't know i don't do even you, know he was like a cartoon over the top stage makeup like he was going to be one of the wooden soldiers in like a. I i don't even know what to compare it to let's put it this way he has so much makeup on i don't know we'd make a drag queen look look like they they don't have a stitch of makeup on. do you like when they close up on his screen it almost looks like mark hamill doesn't even know what to do it's he's not ha he's, none the of tablet. them they were just like throw them in here and make them say a few lines and of course they're talking through a computer with Mala, who's <laughs> whatever she's doing. And he says, hello, Chewbacca, because Mala has this light up frame of Chewbacca that she holds through the whole entire special. And he's like, Chewbacca, you got there because he sees like the face on the screen. And then he's like, wait, Mala, Chewbacca didn't get there yet? He gets very shocked and he comes to the screen because evidently they're working on an engine and this smoke comes out. And I wrote, the smoke that's in that scene is not from this engine officer. Well, all I can tell you is that uh, he and Han left here on schedule. If he's not there now, they're way overdue. There's something going on here with Mark Hamill too. He looks a little shocked about the whole thing. Mala, Chewie's not there yet. <laughs> it was, but it's honestly, insane. throughout the whole thing, nobody, nobody seems concerned or interested in any way at all. Princess about, Leia got up. About Chewbacca, she almost fell to get about up to Chewbacca talk to Mala. or the whole situation. <laughs> She's there, like, mm, he'll get there. Whatever. You mean he's not there yet? A random scene number three, four at this point. They put on. A CGI circus show for the child <laughs> to watch. I'm terrified because there's like a green pipe piper man. That, that green pipe piper man reminds me of like terrifying. A, a crazy Billy Porter <laughs> <laughs> or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and he understands Wookiee evidently. He tells the grandfather, you're going to like this one. You're going to like it a lot. I thought you might like this. One of those that, uh, oh, it's a real, it's kind of hard to explain. It's a, uh, wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> happy life day. <laughs> I do mean happy life day. <laughs> He makes him sit down on this reclining chair that has uh, like a like, it looks um, like a, a, a hair salon chair. Yeah, but it's it's, it's it. yeah, totally. It's he wants him to go into the metaverse, <laughs> and he slips in this little whatever. Looks like almost Cartridge? like a yeah, almost like a I don't know what you want to say, but he slips it into the machine, and then all of a sudden you hear. Hello. You get a light show? Very 70s, this whole very, thing. Very, very, very trippy, 70s. very trippy, very Xanadu, very yeah. like, and then you see, I am here. Like, what the hell did she even say? Like, she says, oh, 
Oh, I can see you're excited. And I'm your creation brought to life. I could feel your creation happening now. Basically, like, he's hardening for her. It was like a public service announcement. This is what you're not supposed to be like (laughs) or something. It's like, this is your brain on drugs. You know, any questions? It didn't make any sense. It's like, now we're going to go. (laughs) They're literally watching. We're going to watch Days of Our Lives, which is, is already in progress. So that was my question to you, David. Is that happening where they, with the Wookiees and the Empire watch? It's literally, watch that thing in the Wookiee household. Not that any of this movie makes sense. And then David's right. It cuts from the announcement to be Arthur in the cantina at Mos Eisley. I I feel like it's showing, they're supposed to be showing people the, that you shouldn't be drinking or partying. Like it's like the effects of, or this is what rebels do. I don't know. It was just really (laughs) strange. So uh, B. B. Arthur is, is the, is the owner or the tavern keeper. Yeah. B. Arthur is the cantina, I guess we'll say owner at this point aliens who evidently she's so good to on a daily basis she lends money to some of them they ain't listening to her she's like that's it we're closed in b arthur fashion this is it you gotta go they're shutting us down the aliens aren't listening she's going around she's like at one point she goes to greedo who's not greedo anymore who's And she's like, you too. I don't even know. Lumpy. No, it's not even you too. So she's going around to all these aliens. They're not paying her any mind. We find out that they won't leave until they dance. Ah, 